Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to set up the AMD Switchable Graphics. First, I will be showing you how to do a clean install of your drivers and then I will be showing you how to set it up. The reason I am showing you to do a clean, how to do a clean install of your drivers uh, is because over the past few years of using uh, this software, um, I have learned that um, even a small problem in the drivers can, uh, can cause the Switchable Graphics not to work properly. So doing a clean install will ensure that you will have the best result possible. So let's get started. So now let's get to the fun stuff, installing the drivers. So first you would be needing display driver and installer. It's a software that is used to uninstall your drivers properly and cleanly. So I'll link the, leave the link below, you can download from there. And uh, if you're using a laptop like I am, it's best to to download the uh, down, download the initial drivers from the Lenovo or uh, in your case whichever company you choose drivers exactly from them uh, because uh, I have had an issue where when I directly try to directly try to install. Uh, the third party drivers instead of the OEM one um, my whole laptop would freeze and it just shut down by itself so download these two drivers but before running we should also see other things uh, extract it you would get two folders like these uh, this is the setup and this is the setup and also extract DDU will download the Intel driver update utility. It is used to update the Intel SD drivers. I will leave a link below. So now let's download the AMD drivers. Well, in my case, uh, if you're following me, then definitely you would know I have the AMD Radeon R7M265. There it is, R7M265. And there it is. Click download, and you would have the drivers. So now that we have downloaded uh, both the latest drivers, uh, let's get on installing it so I already have mine installed perfectly so I won't be uninstalling mine right now but I'll show you how to do it it's better to have all your drivers at the desktop because it will be uh, easy to access okay so uh, if you're wondering why there's no uh, what is it bezels uh, it's because it took it to replace it uh, mine actually broke so now I'll be showing you how to go into safe mode what you do is you come here come here and before you click restart hold the shift button and then click restart uh, it will take a moment but you will get some menu options as it's saying please wait instead of shutting it down or, or I mean in this case restart See, now we got more options. So come to troubleshoot, advanced options, this one here, and restart. A few moments later. Okay, so now, uh, like about 10 seconds later, uh, we get we'll get this menu, and uh, now you want to select enable safe mode. Uh, we don't need networking or with command prompt. So. Uh, okay. According to here, it's given that use number keys or function keys. So we need to click 4. And that's it. Okay, guys, uh, we are back in the safe mode. Uh, as you can see uh, from the top left corner, it says safe mode. Okay, so now it's time to uninstall the drivers. In safe mode, all basic drivers are being loaded, um, including the graphics drivers. So I don't. 
produce any harm to the operating system if we uninstall them over here okay so our DDU has opened um, select the GPU and then uh, you need to uninstall both AMD as well as the Intel drivers so click the clean and restart button uh, and during the restart hold shift as you did before uh, so that um, you can again boot into safe mode to uninstall other drivers because both must be uninstalled in safe mode and uh, please remember to uh, not click the button that says set windows device installation settings to default it will automatically install the latest drivers available and you do not want that okay so now that we have cleanly uninstalled the drivers let's start one by one first you got to install the intel hd graphics drivers without that without that the amd graphics would not work properly many people have told me not to install intel and just go with the amd one but trust me it doesn't work like that so first you install the oem supplied intel driver second you install the oem supplied amd driver and now after that we got to install the intel hd drivers the updated one which uh, this software will download automatically for you well i already have mine installed so i won't be installing mine so uh, using the software you can update the intel hd and at last you got to update the amd drivers i just click uh, I have mine installed and uh, cleaning setup as you can see over here. Mine's working perfectly. Okay, now that we have set up our uh, drivers properly, I'll show you on how to properly configure it. So, for this, as an example, I would be using the game Warframe. So first, just don't mind these parts, just go to the Radeon settings over here. Go to system, go to switchable graphics and there you would see your recent applications. So just don't mind it. Go to install profile applications. As you can see I have many applications over here but uh, let's do it. So for this I will be using Warframe which I downloaded from Steam. So the Steam the directory for games is Steam, Steam apps, common, yeah, Warframe. Yeah, so it's got two, it's got two exe. That is, it got it's, it's got two executables. So I'll be adding both of them. Just click add and it will appear over here. And remember to keep it at high performance if you want to use the AMD graphics with high performance. And now I'll be adding the other one also. Yeah. Okay. Now that's added. Now it's at high performance. And now let's run the game. As you can see in the top, it's showing that AMD graphics is used. The reason the Intel HD graphics is being used so much, because uh, it's being used as an uh, uh, it's it's inbuilt hardware encoders is being used to record this um, and I'm using Windows a game capture DVR Windows game capturing software which is inbuilt in Windows 10 it actually works pretty good uh, well there isn't any FPS drop but sometimes one or two may occur it is actually really uh, not much compared to other recording softwares so now um, let's show you what I'll, I'll show you what happens when you keep it in power saving so now I'll be switching both the power saving and now let's again start a warframe yeah as you can see on uh, the top right corner uh, the usage of the AMD graphics is at zero and the Intel graphics uh, is around 72 percent well warframe isn't a really demanding game well as you can see I'm, I'm recording using my phone uh, well because it's not a it's not a good idea to run 
both the CPU and the Intel HD uh, at really high percentage. The reason uh, because of uh, thermal bottlenecks. Uh, doing that can easily max out temperature as you can see we just normally running the uh, cpu is reading 82 degrees celsius and even if you put the load on the intel hd graphics that will raise its temperature too much it may even reach 100 well it's reached for me once so now that uh, we have set up the amd switchable graphics enjoy all your games anyway guys thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any doubts or queries, let me know in the comments below.